guys, welcome to the tutorial. This is Eva, and I'm going to teach you how to use 3ds Max for the first time. If you haven't got 3ds Max yet, you can easily download it from Autodesk.com. Going to Products, Autodesk 3ds Max, Free Trial. You can download the 30 day trial of 3ds Max and yeah, just try it and follow this tutorial. When you open 3ds Max, you will see this. Well, it's, it looks all complicated, but when you work with it, it's yeah, it's got family and it's nothing special anymore. So here we have four screens, and when I make simple model you can see it's here from the top from the front and here from yeah from the left and in this yeah this part of the screen you can see it in 3D and yeah how it looks like but we are going to use the 3D function uh, 3D screen only so you select this screen by clicking it you go bottom right and maximize the viewport. Now we have it in full screen. You can make a simple model by going to the right and you can see all the shapes here. I use the teapot for example, but you can also use the box, the cylinder, and for example, also a sphere. Now when you have these three models you want to look around them to see how they look like from the other side. By turning around your camera like this, you hold the Alt key left on your keyboard and you hold down the mouse wheel. So when you have both down you move your mouse and you can see your camera turns around it. To move from left to right and up and down you hold the control key instead of the alt key so you hold control and mouse wheel down and move your mouse to lock on a certain object you click on the object and press set now you have yeah the objects in your view so you can easily model it from there Today we are going to make a simple scope because a scope is yeah quite fun to do and it's quite easy to do. So first we grab the cylinder, go to the middle to make it yeah pretty centered, draw it and move it up, click it again. When we press F4 you will probably see this. These segments are extra segments to edit with and we don't want them yet so we're going to remove it so when you go to the right you see here height, uh, height segments and you change that to 1 and to enable wireframe mode simply press F4 so you can see the segments now we don't want our scope to yeah, stand up like that so we are going to rotate it by using this tool select and rotate once pressed you see this ball and in that ball you can rotate it around and around we select yellow or, uh, or red yeah line and click on it and then you can see it goes yeah only that way so when we select it we want to turn it 90 degrees well, it hasn't got to be 90 degrees exactly because here we have the um, yeah rotation to rotate it so we want to yeah, change it to 90 exactly and as you can see here it's now straight but 
we want we neither want to yeah have a scope there in the middle. So we're going to use the select and move tool. With the select and move tool, see three arrows and you can simply move it around. So we want to put it here. And now we are going to start with something tougher. We're going to right click and convert this to an edible body. <coughs> now we have a lot of new functions here and we are only going to use about four or five. Simply the basic ones. We click this red square polygon and select this one. When selecting it becomes red so you know you've selected that part. Now we are going to use the bevel function. What does the bevel function? Well, the bevel yeah, extrudes it and you can scale it so it gets yeah, it gets shape. So we want to make it about this big and this this size in scale. When you're done, you press OK and go here to the extrude function. By extruding, yeah, you only extrude and do not scale. Again, press OK and here we use the bevel again to make the other part of the scope. And here we can use the extrude again. And there we have it. We have a simple shape of a scope. Now we want to look into the scope. So we're going to select this one and use the inset. The inset makes a simple shape into yeah the polygon you selected. You can change the value here but we want it about this big. Press OK. Um, when looking inside it, you use the extrude and you think, well, that's, that only makes something outside, but you can also go inside. So here, you have the inside of the scope. Let's make it a bit better, as you can see it from the outside. Now we want to make it a bit round, so you are looking to a round glass. Use the bevel again, change the outline, change the height, and make it a bit more round. Something like this. Make sure to scale this to its one big dot. Do not weld this if you are experienced with uh, 3ds Max. Do not weld it, as you get some yeah small problems. Now we will do it on the same. Use the inset. Use the extrude. Make sure it won't be visible on the other side. bevel again and again and scale it. Now we have a simple scope to look into but it's not round so it's not a nice scope yet. So what are we going to do? We're going to make this whole model smooth. Going to the modify list and select turbo smooth. It's an alphabetic order so you can find it easily. But when we select turbo smooth you can see yeah it's it's a weird and a weird round shape. So we're going to undo that. We're going to select the edges and click the edges here. 
see you've selected it, you can multi-select by holding control. We're going to use the function ring. It makes it a lot easier and it makes you not to select all of them from one time. So when we have selected all the edges here, we're going to use the connect function. This is one of the last functions you will learn. The connect function makes an extra segment and this is very useful to use for smoothing. So we are going to make two segments and pinch it off each other to about 95. Do not change it to 100 because it will yeah, remove the quality of the mesh. So I will change it about 95, that will be ok. And when we use Turbo Smooth again, you can see it's a better shape now. But when we look to our scope we're looking into, you can see it's still ragged up, still too smooth. So we're going to Ctrl Z and undo it but leave these segments where they are because they are good so now we are going to use the same function into this select it all use the ring function use the connect function when we use turbo smooth way better. So now the other side and we're nearly done. It's like this, this, this and this. Just a ring. Connect. Two segments. When we use Turbo Smooth now you can see it's a really nice scope. You can remove the wireframe by pressing F4. But now we don't want yeah a brown scope, we want it to be black. So we press M and open this and the material opens. Material editor. Now we see all kinds of grey balls here. Each ball is a material, and if you drag and drop it on the model, you can see it becomes the same color. But we want it black and not gray, so we're going to do the diffuse and change it to a bit more black. Now it's also a bit boring, black only. So we are going to increase the glossiness and the specular level. I'm changing the glossiness to about 60 to 70 and specular to about 70 to 80. And what you see now it's it's all a bit shiny and that's making the model look better. So this is the tutorial about making a simple scope. 